Just in late this afternoon, a verdict in the federal sex trafficking trial we have all been following since last week. Our Rob Olson has been covering this from the start. He walks us through where the jury came down in the Tony Lazaro trial. It took the jury only a couple of hours to come back with verdicts of guilty on all six counts against 32 year old Anton Tony Lazaro here. This came after a week of trial and a morning of closing arguments. This is some of the evidence that they saw during the trial. These are photos of Anton Lazaro's Minneapolis condominium showing the bar and, uh, you know, it's talking about the alcohol that he served to these victims, uh, the boxes of vapes that he gave to them as well. A lot of time spent pointing out the mirror on the ceiling above his bed. We also saw this video counting hundreds of dollars of bills. This from a Snapchat from one of the alleged victims. Again, guilty of all six counts. Count one is conspiracy to commit sex trafficking of minors. Counts two through six is sex trafficking of minors for the five victims here who all testified the only reason that they had sex with him was for the money and the gifts that followed. The U.S. Attorney's Office here, the prosecutors say they hope that this is a lesson for a lot of people about the various forms that trafficking can take. Anton Lazaro is a danger to every family with a daughter and to everyone who believes in common decency. As the verdict demonstrated and as the evidence showed, Anton Lazaro is a predator. The jury is not done here, even though the verdicts are in. They must return on Monday for a forfeiture hearing. That's where they decide which properties of Tony Lazaro uh, will be seized by the state. Anything connected to the crime, his condominium, his Ferrari, etc. Sentencing has not yet been set. The range is anywhere from 10 years to life in prison. U.S. Attorney Andy Luger said they'll be looking for some serious time. In Minneapolis, Rob Olson, Fox 9.